uh, dear guests, uh, hello, we are very glad to see you here today. Uh, can you hear me well? Yes, we are hearing you. So good day also from the Polytechnic University. Uh, yeah, dear friends, uh, we are very welcome you uh, to our webinar uh, of Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Today we will discuss a lot of questions, talk to uh, students who have uh, already uh, done a great uh, process of uh, enrollment uh, to our university, talk about the city where we are located. So. Uh, Please feel free to ask any questions uh, which uh, you have. Uh, so we are starting a little bit about uh, yeah about us about um, the university. We are one of the leading international well-known technical universities in Russia. Uh, we have more than eight thousand five hundred foreign students from over one hundred twenty countries. Uh, which is of course a lot and we are very proud and uh, very happy uh, about this so um, we have we are really covering all uh, yeah maybe interested most interesting fields uh, for uh, students which are necessary uh, and um, yeah we are trying really to provide the very special um, infrastructure for our students in the very special uh, educational uh, scientific fields. So a uh, question, can you hear, uh, oh, okay, sorry, can you see the um, presentation? Maybe a short feedback. So again, uh, dear guests, can you see the um, presentation of us? Yes? Yes, we can see it. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, today we will also talk of uh, the main point uh, of our today's discussion is how uh, to get a scholarship to uh, the universities because of course uh, it's a very important thing important um, yeah, question maybe for a lot of students how we can uh, get a educational free place at uh, the Polytechnic University or any other university in Russia. So a little bit uh, more specific about this uh, later uh, but allow me also to introduce the students who will attend uh, today our meeting uh, and who have already uh, done this very difficult way to get a scholarship uh, in different fields and in different degrees. So first of all, we have a bachelor student on the profile of mathematics support and administration of information system of the Institute of Computer Science and Technology. Uh, it is um, a student from Iraq, Sibari Ahmad. So very welcome you and thank you for attending. Uh, us today. Uh, we have also a student from a master program uh, from Syria, Halil Alisar. He is studying economics at the Institute of Industrial Management, Economics and Trade. And uh, presented here also a PhD student from our university. Uh, he is a PhD student in the field of electrical and heat engineering, Naji Abdullah Mizal. So also very, very, very much thank you that you had uh, the time for us to share your experience today. Maybe also also to motivate our future students and to ensure them that, of course, there are a lot of bureaucratic questions, a lot of things uh, to understand, but it's worth of it. So we will talk uh, with you a little bit later. And uh, now I will briefly uh, talk about uh, the university at all. A uh, short presentation uh, I will do. So 
first of all, where we are located, we are located in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is known as the cultural capital, uh, so to say, of Russian Federation, but not only for very nice views, but also for a great infrastructure for the future life. A lot of R&D centers, industry, possibilities, uh, not only to study, but also to build up the life afterwards here in the city. It's located in the very northwest of Russian Federation, um, and uh, yeah, uh, the university is based um, not far away from the city center so that you can get everything uh, like not by foot maybe but by uh, metro a little bit about numbers as i already mentioned we have uh, over 8500 international students from 33000 students so among the russian universities we are number 3 by international students but number 1 uh, among the russian technical universities uh, and um, a lot of students are asking about rankings. Uh, nevertheless, of this global situation nowadays, uh, the universities are still in the ranking system. Um, because, uh, of course, it's not possible to put out a university without uh, if it has already a reputation. So in the ranking systems we are provided. Uh, for, uh, also, um, you can see in the um, subjects uh, rankings, that's also very important because, uh, as I mentioned also before, we have really the most different subjects provided here at the university. Our campus has not only nice pictures but has also a great infrastructure uh, it's a campus area over four metro stations so we have our own um, dormitories our own labs even our own little forest as you can see here on uh, the um, uh, on the picture so uh, sports complex uh, and um, international office uh, so everything is located nearest so you can choose um, uh, so you can reach everything by foot or by metro over the four metro stations. Uh, also some facilities, we have um, medical complex, concert hall, a lot of student clubs, cafes, canteens, also everything on the territory of our campus. Uh, sports complex, also everybody has the possibility to, uh, to use it and to um, choose whatever you would like. But not only the infrastructure is, of course, very important. Uh, of course, the education. Our university provides the educational programs in all the fields and in all, on all levels, bachelor, master, uh, and uh, not only in Russian language, but also in English language. That means that students who are not willing to attend, for example, a foundation faculty, uh, foundation faculty, it's a program to prepare international students for studying at universities. The foundation faculty takes one year. It's possible to apply here, but uh, afterwards, you can choose uh, Russian programs. If the students do not want to take this uh, university foundation program, it can choose directly English taught program, so it's also possible. Uh, as we have today a focus on scholarship programs, I would like also to mention that uh, you can as well choose the university foundation for program on scholarship. So you apply for it, you put a mark that you need a foundation faculty and you get a scholarship place for the foundation faculty and then for the bachelor master or phd degree so we have prepared like this not to waste a lot of time in uh, discussing and explaining we have made qr codes you can make a screenshot of it or uh, and uh, maybe read later a little a little bit more detailed about the duration the tuition fee uh, and so on in for the degree programs taught in Russian language and for the degree programs taught in English. For the bachelor level, we have uh, only three uh, degree programs in economics, but for the master level, we have over 20 uh, programs which are accessible in engineering, natural science, management, economics and humanities. So, but now, uh, if you are an international student and would like to apply at Polytech, after um, what, what are the ways? You can apply through a contract education, so you pay for the tuition fee, or you can take the opportunity of the Russian governmental scholarship or of the Open Doors Olympiad. 
So the Russian uh, scholarship uh, is uh, accessible from October. So now we are in the very beginning of the period of the application. Uh, from uh, You apply via the website, which are listed here. And uh, the Russian government scholarship is accessible for bachelor, master, and PhD and university foundation program. And the Open Doors Olympiad is accessible just for uh, master and P PhD and university foundation program different ways to apply but it's worth to try uh, it and uh, our students will a little bit uh, later explain you how they had uh, passed all these steps to get the scholarship uh, was it difficult or was it uh, quite yeah quite uh, understandable how to do it if you are getting the scholarship that means for you that you are tuition free education and you get a monthly stipend it's about 2500 rubles uh, for degree students and 5,000 now even a little bit more uh, beginning of this year for PhD students. Uh, so um, the next step is of course the when, how, uh, it's a long peer process. Uh, it takes you a really a year of applyment. So if you plan to apply next year from and start studying at the September of next year, you have to apply now. Yes, and here uh, the admission um, information for you. So the Open Doors Olympiad, uh, it's a little bit challenging maybe, uh, sounds uh, Olympiad, but no, we are really motivating the students to try themselves and to participate in the Olympiad. You get to know the students who are also like you interested in getting a scholarship and in getting uh, a program here. Uh, and it's a competition, of course, but uh, on the one hand, but on the other hand, it's like your first steps into your scientific career. That's why the Olympiad is provided for uh, master and PhD students. Also here some important dates. So beginning of the 15th of September until the 30, uh, 23rd of December you can try to apply and do, uh, do your best. So uh, this was the most important part uh, about uh, the degree programs. Uh, what do you need for bachelor, master, PhD, which documents, everything is listed on our websites. Sounds difficult, but accessible and possible. Uh, this was the question about the uh, scholarship programs. Of course, if there are like, some difficulties with this, or you would like to um, apply as a contract student, the application information is listed on the next slide. So a lot of questions we get, of course, also about the student visa. Uh, our university provides the visa invitation and the dormitories. This is also very important. So you do not have to have the fear that there will be some difficulties. We support our students in getting the visa and we are supporting uh, the students of getting um, our uh, dormitory place. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, in because of the a uh, difficult situation worldwide. We got, of course, a lot of questions on the diploma recognition. Uh, will Russian education be recognized? How it will function? And we would like to reassure our students that, yes, uh, of course, the situation is difficult on the political level, but on the educational level, our university is a recognized, highly recognized um, <clears throat> federal uh, university in Russia. We are well known and we have agreements on mutual recognition of academic credentials with more than 80, uh, 80 countries. That means that our education uh, till uh, the diplomatic issues um, are working uh, will be recognized also in other countries. So this was the most important uh, information uh, about us. Now we are get, coming to the maybe more uh, interactive part uh, of uh, our uh, discussion. Um, we are we will ask the students who are attending today our today's webinar. How was it for them? Was it difficult? Uh, was it uh, challenging? Um, yeah. 
how how it was functioning and so on so um, i will give the floor to our students um, guys um, maybe we can start with very simple questions why uh, did you decide to go to russia uh, how did you learn about the polytechnic university and uh, you all of you are uh, students from the scholarship uh, of the scholarship opportunities um, how have you managed it so maybe we'll start with uh, Ahmad. Ahmad, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, so, hello, uh, Ahmad. I'm from the Kurdish. I'm from the Kurdish region of uh, Iraq. Uh, yeah, I got a scholarship like uh, two years ago. Uh, from the Russian government. Uh, so yeah, it is a long process. Uh, I can say that. Uh, guys, I have a question. Is it over like for you? Is it comfortable with English or Arabic? Um, I suppose it's most comfortable in English because we had uh, the um, the issue that we will talk today in uh, in in English language. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so. We don't know whether all students understand Arabic because uh, um, it, it's better in English, okay? Actually, it is better because my Arabic also is not that good. No, in, in English. <laughs> yeah. In English, it's okay. Okay. So, yeah, I can say this, like, uh, coming to Russia and getting a scholarship was a really good uh, chance for me to, for expanding my views and knowledge, and this is a really nice experience for me i'm really glad that i got it uh so yeah like uh, i knew about this from uh, a friend of my father he told me there is a scholarship like this and like this uh you'll go and apply for it so it's uh, is in i applied in the on on an uh, how do you see it like a website i'm not sure about the uh, the name again but i think it's uh, education in russia dot yes, that's uh, right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and it is a long uh, procession. Like I started in uh, February and finished like in October. So, and uh, guys, don't worry about like the long, uh, long. Uh, how do you say? Like uh, it takes a long time to process all of this because uh, believe me, there are a lot of students who apply and stuff like that. So it's not something like you send them and you you'll get your answers right back. So. Yeah, it takes a lot of time for all this to process. Uh, yeah, uh, this was for me for two years ago. Uh, like I was, I got accepted. Uh, I went to the uh, Russian consulacy in Erbil. Uh, I took all of my documents and made them like uh, sign them. So, so I had no problems, uh, everything like that. Uh, uh, I came to Russia last November. I came to Russia and started studying the R Russian language. Uh, at first, it was challenging and stuff like that. Uh, but with time, with practice, uh, it was uh, uh, it became easy for me, and I started uh, learning Russian fast. And uh, right now, I can say I can speak Russian normally. Uh, and right you, now, uh, I'm. Sorry, I will, so you got, uh, you put the option to foundation faculty plus uh, bachelor studies, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, uh, yes, like that. Uh, so because I didn't know the Russian language, so I had to learn the Russian language first. Then I came to university uh, in Polytech University, which is one of the best universities in Russia. Uh, like uh, we started in one month and we're already having our classes and it's uh, it's a bit challenging but it is worth it because the knowledge here is uh, it's like accepted by all the world like it says uh, uh, world uh, it says has a high rec uh, rank in the world universities and like that so so yeah it is worth it like and you are uh, everyone, studying uh, yeah, sorry, and you are studying in a Russian uh, program. You have chosen the Russian uh, degree program, right? Yes, I study in Russian. 
Mm -hmm. Is it difficult to find common language with other students? You, you have explained uh, very great that you have chosen the Russian Foundation faculty. Now you are studying in Russian. You speak very good English. So how uh, do you feel? Um, this, is there this common language with students here at the community? Uh, are there any other international students at your group? Do you help each other? So how it's going on for you? Uh... Yes, there are uh, there are a lot of uh, foreigners. Like in each group, there are at least like as much as I know. Uh, at each group, there's at least like five or six uh, foreign students. Uh, they help each other, and also I can say this that uh, like the Russian students, they help us too. Uh, so I can say this like yeah, it is uh, for this. Uh, all students help each other. Uh, foreigners and Russian students also help us. May I ask you why have you chose a particular program um, which are you studying now? The I can say like this, uh, like the programming uh, I chose like information systems and uh, technology because uh, in my view, like in the future, uh, it will be really good for me. Like for me, I can use it for myself. I can help, like, help in making a good future for myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, how you manage to overcome difficulties? So, of course, you have to adapt yourself. You are now a year here in Russia, but uh, how you manage to, to overcome this adaptation period? To be honest, uh, all right. So, like, there were times like I was so I said to myself this is really hard like in the first beginning times i came to here i didn't know the language uh, it was really hard but with the help like the friends i met uh with the help of my family like they told me keep going and stuff like that mm -hmm. like if you come here at the beginning i I'll, i'll be honest it's a bit hard but after that it's really like it's really fun it's uh, i feel home like for now okay so may i ask the last question to you it's a little bit um, uh, maybe a funny question but for students from warm countries very actual uh how you get used to the russian climate <laughs> the russian climate oh that's fun. to be honest it's based on the person uh i'm a person that i like cold weather i like it so for me it's uh, really nice weather like i know minus 20 and 25 is uh, like for most of people they've never seen something like that but uh, for me like it's nice i like cold weather so i have no problems with it but i know that, like there are people who has problems with this mm -hmm. okay so thank you very much Thank you for attending us, for telling a little bit about you, about the application, and the, maybe you also motivated um, some students to really try to it. So thank you very much. Uh, and now I will give the floor to yeah. our uh, student, uh, Alisar. He is a master degree student, so um, other experience a little bit maybe. Uh, also, first of all, I will just ask the same question, why you decided to go to Russia, how you get learned for, uh, to the Polytechnic University, and of course, the most important question to all of the students, uh, how you managed um, to get the scholarship opportunity. Uh, the, the main question uh, was uh, how you decide why you decided to, to come to Russia uh, and how uh, you get the opportunity to study uh, the scholarship here. Uh. So, Alisa, can you hear us? Maybe, first of all, just uh, a little bit about you and uh, a little bit about your studies at the universities, at the university, about your favorite subjects, about your um, impression. Uh, yes, 
I have favorite subject, uh, it's microeconomics. Okay, uh, and uh, why, why you decided to study uh, at Polytech University? Uh, why? Uh, uh, and the prince. Uh, maybe can you say uh, how did you apply it, uh, for the scholarship? Was it difficult? Uh, applying scholarship uh, was uh, easy. Was easy? How long took it? Maybe, Alisar, if uh, you have some doubts, you can also talk, uh, I don't know, in Russian and we will translate. Uh, I, I will translate you if it's may maybe more comfortable for you like this to talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Можно просто немножечко о себе. И как вы получили э, стипендию просто? Я больше на я сделаю на тест государственный. Просто можно, что я что я работаю на бакалавр, так я сделал на тему, какой тема я больше и что я работаю. Я у меня была работа на рынок российского на нефти и газ и и можно вопрос, как говорит на русский, как, как что вы знаете здесь в, в России тоже. Это так вопрос. А Это учили, не очень трудно. Вы, вы учились в бакалавриате тоже в, поли, в политехническом университете? Okay, so a, a little bit of, of uh, the history of uh, Alisar. He has been already a bachelor student here at our university and he decided to apply for a scholarship when he decided to make his master. Um, this is also a point uh, for the students. Um, where he got uh, already information and uh, got a topic here and so that uh, he could put it's in his motivation letter. Uh, by the way, if the students uh, would like to apply to our university, uh, you can write to us, write to us about the topic you would like to choose, and we give also, uh, write, give us your motivation letter, and we prepare a letter of recommendation. Uh, and this letter of recommendation helps also the students uh, to get the scholarship to the very specific um, um, university. This is also an opportunity. It's my comment uh, on it because Alisar, he is also a student bachelor and now he is uh, continuing in the master level also here at the universities. Uh, next, uh, last question I will put to Alisar uh, about uh, the dormitories, canteens and sports because not education, scientific points is of course important, but how about the infrastructure at all? Uh, Alisar, uh, немножечко помните вот там про общежитие, про то, как uh, устроен спортивный да, комплекс немножко как так. Хорошо, хорошо. Um, я, это вопрос можно ответить на английский. Давайте, давайте, да, да. Домотрис are good and they have uh, a friendly with uh, cons, uh, uh, consent is very uh, comfortable when you have very time uh, between classes. Sports uh, grants are one of the closest place in uh, Poly uh, Polytechnic uh, University uh, because you uh, choose different rent, uh, different rent uh, sport. Mm -hmm. So you are combining sport, leisure, education here and it's it's comfortable for you. Oh, football. Football, sports. you combine also sports yeah. and football. <laughs> okay, uh, Alisar, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much uh, for taking part also uh, today here. Uh, the last uh, student we will talk to, uh, it's Naji. He is our PhD student. Naji, can you uh, hear us? So Naji.
can you hear us and connect and talk a little bit about your experience at our university? So uh, we will try to connect uh, with the student. Uh, till then, maybe I can ask uh, answer sorry some questions uh, which we got uh, from the students. Um, the um, um, the que there are a lot of questions. Uh, of, uh, some of them I have got also uh, I've given you an um, answer. It's about the diploma recognition, of course. Um, and and uh, there are also uh, questions uh, for the bachelor degree and Open Doors Olympiad. Again, I would like to mention Open Doors Olympiad is open for master and PhD level. For bachelor level, uh, you can apply through the governmental scholarship. Yeah, it's like. I I have to, uh, shown it at the presentation two ways governmental scholarship and open doors olympiad so for all bachelor master phd it's possible to get a scholarship but a little bit different uh, ways also a question is uh, how we get the information about did I got the, uh, the scholarship or not? Like um, our students uh, tell you, it's a long process because it's not depending only on us, it's depending on the Ministry of Higher Education. Uh, so you apply through uh, the embassy of uh, uh, Russian Federation in your country. Uh, you are get, making there like some tests or some interviews, it depends on the country. You get this information at the embassy. Uh, and then uh, your, uh, your uh, portfolio is provided to the Ministry of Higher Education. Then the portfolio is provided to our university. Then we check the portfolio. Um, you do not have to pass extra exams. That's also very important when you apply uh, through the uh, scholarship. And uh, so uh, it takes time. So from, I would say, the end of December is the end of the application period. February, uh, the, the January, February, March is the period when the examination is. And then from beginning from the April, you got already the information whether you got the scholarship or not, to which university uh, you got the scholarship and so on. Uh, the students are also asking about the previous education, whether it's important, how, how was your marks, of course it's important, uh, we are checking the marks, the ministry is checking the marks, um, of course it's an important point um, which is considered to, to choose the best students. Um, what are the priorities for Open Doors uh, Olympiad uh, winners? The priority is that you get a duration fee free education, that you are provided with all the necessary information, visa, dormitory, and so on. Uh, so you are not like alone, you win and you don't know what to do. No, we are starting as, um, as soon as we know that you are our Olympiad uh, scholarship student, we start to communicate with you uh, to help you with the admission process. Uh, by the way, the admission process to the university is completely online. So that means that you do not have to arrive immediately in June. No, there is time, plenty time to make the admission process uh, online. Uh, you send all the necessary documents online and you arrive just in September for starting the uh, educational period. So, um, uh, ah, also a question is, uh, I have uh, applied through the open doors, can I also apply th through the governmental scholarship? Yes, it's possible. Some students apply both ways. There are just different ways uh, about the exams. Yes, it's the only uh, difference because at the end, the scholarship winners from the government or the open doors winners, they get the tuition free uh, educational place. Uh, uh, also about the fields of study which are accessible. Uh, somebody has asked about the international affairs. Yes, uh, all the fields of studies which are listed on the Open Doors Olympiad for our universities are accessible. Of course, we are rechecking it every year and uh, updating it. Uh, question whether the exams are difficult. <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, let's try to ask our students. Um, Nadji, I have seen that you have tried to, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Now Excuse me, because uh, today I should leave. I have something to do here and uh, I think okay. you are already busy with other uh, students. Okay, thank you very much.
Thank you. Uh, so maybe yeah. you can ask uh, first a little bit about yourself, your experience, how did you got your uh, scholarship place, but maybe you can answer to our students, have been the exams difficult? Uh, how to say, uh, first of all, uh, I'm Naji Abdullah Mizal from Iraq, a PhD uh, student, uh, or in Russian it's not student, it's uh, aspirant. Uh, that's what uh, we call uh, we call the PhD applicant here. Uh, I uh, I got the scholarship uh, from the site the future in Russia. Uh, first, uh, before I didn't know anything about uh, Polytechnic University, but I I knew about uh, this uh, great university from the uh, site future in Russia. Uh, why I did uh, why I did decide to to come to Russia and uh, get my um, uh, my degree in PhD because of several uh, reasons. It can be summarized that for the good uh, uh, reputation for the which uh, Russia and uh, Russian pupils uh, are famous, and also for the good education in Russian academic organizations. Uh, also, there is another reason that the uh, geographical location is uh, so close to my country, Iraq, and the, the, uh, every year the Russian governments uh, initiated to grant Iraq and other countries a lot of scholarships and uh, about 15,000 uh, scholarships uh, in a year. So a lot of the international students have uh, a big opportunity to get uh, scholarships uh, in uh, very good uh, universities uh, in Russia. And, the, uh, and uh, I think uh, the Polytechnic is uh, one uh, of the top uh, universities in the world and uh, Russia. So I learned about the scholarship opportunity to study at uh, Polytechnic University in the, uh, from the website Future in Russia. And there you should uh, select or choose the six uh, universities. And it was uh, very important uh, to know about all universities be, uh, before uh, your choosing. Uh, the criteria that uh, we used uh, to choose the university I think it's uh, very important uh, for any uh, serious uh, PhD applicant uh, looking for a high level universities. Uh, at that time, when I did my research, I found that uh, Polytechnic University is one of top universities in Russia and the world. Uh, it's ranking at that time, as far as I remember, it was uh, 391 but now it's 301 uh, and at the 2020 was the 501. So it's ranking level is increasing. I got, uh, this is a, a good university with a good education on uh, a high level. Also the uh, Polytechnic University has uh, a dissertation councils where uh, a lot of uh, Russian universities don't have. And it's very important for the PhD applicant uh, to search and find uh, and find the uh, university that have the dissertations uh, councils uh, to finish uh, the study and get uh, the PhD degree. Uh, that's what I want uh, to see about the Polytechnic uh, University. Uh, and uh, if you have any question, please uh, you can uh, ask me. You know, uh, we have got uh, also questions from the student about the working opportunities. You are as a PhD student, you of course are uh, also um, uh, interested, motivated, possibly already to start your working career. Uh, how about this? Do you Can you combine your work and the PhD? Do you work already? Is it possible to work? Was it difficult to get the working license if you are working? Actually, yes, I'm working on the study uh, mm -hmm. at the same time because uh, the cooperation that I am seeing from the uh, all uh, teachers or the professors here in the 
and the university, uh, the my institute especially, uh, that's, uh, that gives me opportunity to, uh, to continue my study. But of course, it's with hard uh, work uh, to, continue, uh, to continue working and also uh, to continue studying uh, because um, uh, sometimes the uh, uh, sometimes the uh, our university also offered for the international students uh, some opportunities to work in the university. Uh, so there is a big a chance uh, to continue our work uh, mm -hmm. and your study in PhD. And combine it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And together. combine it. Okay. For you, uh, what do you plan to work uh, in the future connected to your research topic or industry or something completely different? Of course. Uh, uh, actually, I'm working in my specialists and mm -hmm. also studying uh, the, in the electro and uh, uh, electrical and heat and power engineering. Also, I'm working in the company. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's in oil and gas uh, for oil and gas company. So it's uh, I think it's yes, it's meets my study and the working in the same uh, discipline. Yeah. Okay, and last question to you, a little bit also not about the research topic. Um, how do you find uh, St. Petersburg and the university campus? Because uh, a lot of students are also asking about the security, about how comfortable, how secure do you feel now here? Maybe some question, uh, some, um, yeah, your opinions about this. Is it enough uh, infrastructure for international students at the campus or it's is there... It's a good question, uh, especially in this time, because we are living in the sun. Um, uh, I think the uh, security here in the San Petersburg and the, especially in our university is very strong and good and very comfortable security situation uh, with modern uh, security, uh, security technicals. This uh, bring a comfortable, a comfort and uh, reassurance in the university and the city uh, as well. So I think uh, no need to be uh, worry about uh, the security situation here because it's very normal and uh, you can feel comfortable in the city and the university. Okay. So thank you very much, Najee. Thank you for your time. We understand yeah. that you are very busy today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for this opportunity uh, and see you uh, maybe as soon as possible when I come back. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 So, uh, yes, I haven't uh, asked uh, this question also because we get uh, in the chat a question from these students and it's a normal question. We understand it absolutely. Uh, what is the situation at the university connected with the events uh, in Ukraine? Uh, the situation is quite calm. The students attack, uh, are attending lectures in full time. The learning process is unchanged. Uh, international students are also arriving involved. So um, we are in touch in with the students, with Russian international students. And of course, there are some fears, some security uh, questions. And uh, we uh, try uh, through our media, social networks, uh, as soon as possible to answer all the necessary questions. Yes, mm, uh, because uh, the students have to feel sure that we are here if there uh, any questions are um, appearing. Uh, so, um, maybe uh, just a few questions uh, from, from the students uh, we got, um, and you know, I would like maybe to ask um, Alisar uh, to give, uh, I will give him also a floor. Uh, we have a lot of students from Arabic countries. Uh, we had also uh, some questions, uh, can, we, can any nationality apply? Yes, any nationality, any country can apply. But Alisar, maybe you can say in Arabic, some greeting words uh, and some motiv I think the most important is now motivating um, words to our students in Arabic language. طبعا هاي جامعة سان بطرسبورغ بوليتيخ جامعة تقنية عم تدعي كل الطلاب مشان يقدموا على المنحة والتقديم على المنحة بدل ما نصعب لازم الكل يجرب فرصته بالتقديم. الجامعة كتير كويسة وعلى مستوى كتير كبير بروسيا وهي ده فيديو هو كانت محاضرة اليوم هي فيديو تعريفي عن الجامعة الأساتذة فيها كتير ممتازين 
في دائما سنه اللغه في سنه التعلم اللغه الروسيه طبعا انا شفت الاسئله عم تتكرر من الشباب والصبايا العرب عم يسالوا مشان المنحه هي بروسيا طبعا هي بروسيا مدينه سان بطرسبورغ المدينه فينا نقول كمان السكن الجامعي كثير منيح وفي صالات رياضيه في قاعات للدراسه في مكتبات في مستعار طبعا الكتب اللي بتريدوها في كل الجامعه مختصه بكل التقنيات موجوده فيها فيها كمان ممكن دراسه الهندسه بجميع انواعها دراسه الاعلام دراسه العلاقات العامه الاقتصاد الاداره في دراسه باللغه الروسيه طبعا وفي بعض المعاهد باللغه الانجليزيه طبعا اكيد اهلا وسهلا فيكم ونحن يعني عم نعملنا هي المقابله مشان تشجيع لتقدموا وتزيد الفرص للقبول على المنحه، المنحه شامله كل التكاليف الدراسيه حصرا كمان في راتب كمان بيجي راتب بسيط يعني فينا نغطي فيه السكن الجامعي المدينه جدا رائعه انا بنصح الكل حسب تجربتي بنصح الكل يقدم على هلا المنحه ويختار جامعه سان بطرسبورغ البوليتيخ لانها من الجامعات الرائده بروسيا اهلا وسهلا فيكم و وي سؤال نحن جاهزين اهلا وسهلا لا خرشه Alisa, thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you could motivate uh, the students uh, to apply, to feel comfortable. Um, thank you, thank you uh, very much. Спасибо большое, Alisa. Uh, and uh, till then, uh, we have checked the chat. We got uh, some new questions uh, about it. Um, the qu also very important question, uh, how can I apply it, um, when I do not have the Embassy of Russian Federation in my country? Uh, coming back, you can apply really from all the countries, from Nigeria, from Asian countries, from uh, Orient countries, Arabic countries. Uh, if you do not have an Embassy of Russian Federation, you can uh, contact Rossatrunichistva. It's also an institution, um, a Russian governmental institution at your country. So um, on the website, uh, Education in Russia, you can check your country and see uh, through whom you have to apply. So um, the website is not working. This is also a question. Um, unfortunately, we as a university can just also provide all the necessary information. Um, there has been a problem as far as I know, but from the 1st of October, the website will work again, the website education in Russia, because then um, the new application period will start. Uh, so, um, also a question, can I apply uh, from documents, not visa, but um, like documents for living permission? Yes, uh, you can apply, you can apply beforewards, you can apply afterwards, the university provide also the only necessary information how uh, a student can apply uh, and get the living permission in the Russian Federation. Uh, also, a question is there a certain criteria for the PhD thesis that I should submit for the admission? So, uh, when you are applying for PhD, you are um, preparing a motivation letter. Uh, we, we are submitting this in, uh, motivation letter at our institutes uh, because, of course, there has to be a match. Yes, uh, the, your topic that you are interested in and the topics which the university is providing. And we are really working with the students very carefully. Uh, we are connecting them with the potential um, uh, potential um, supervisor so that you are not enrolled but already you can have some discussions uh, i don't know microbiology this field is very special or that field because of course uh, all fields has its own issues so there are not certain criteria there has to be a clear motivation of your research work that's the most important thing also about the medical uh, issue, uh, are here some questions. The pharmacy, we have at the university our own medical complex. So our own polyclinic, so-called polyclinic. And the students who are, have the insurance, they can go to the doctors at the polyclinic, get all the necessary pharmacy, um, yeah, 
uh, explain the explanation. Yes, so uh, it's also on uh, the infrastructure uh, included. Uh, okay. Oh, a question: PhD in Russian or English language? Uh, we have a lot of PhD programs offered in English language. Please check the Open Doors uh, Olympiad website uh, of our university and all fields, all supervisors who are listed there from our university, they provide English taught PhD programs. So you will be in contact with your supervisor in English language and you will have the opportunity to connect to prepare your research work also uh, in uh, English uh, English language. So uh, um, what do we have? Um, I have applied uh, at the field of study uh, tourism. Have I got a chance to study? You have got a chance to study in any field, really. Uh, from humanities to microelectronics, from biotechnology to economics. Uh, otherwise, we would not offer these fields at the Open Doors Olympiad and at the scholarship, of course. Uh, you can try and you have to try. This is also very important. Um, a question also about uh, whether I have uh, a, two, uh, um, a scholarship when I'm in um, the foundation faculty. Um, you will get the scholarship through your full period of study. So if you have applied foundation faculty plus bachelor, you will get the scholarship for the whole amount. Yes, if you have applied just for bachelor, then you will have just for the bachelor studies. So. Um, I've got here three last questions I will answer. Uh, may I apply if I'm already in Russia? Yes, of course. Like the examples of our students, uh, they have been studying bachelor here in Polytech, applied here, made the master's studies. It's possible, of course. Uh, it's uh, not a problem. A problem. Um, I applied for foundation faculty and open doors. Can I apply for PhD program? Ah, this is also a good question. You can apply for all. You can apply bachelor with scholarship, then master with scholarship, and then PhD programs with scholarship. We have really some students who have covered all uh, the cycle with this Russian, fund, Russian governmental scholarship place. It's possible. You have to apply every time again, but once applied, I think that's not a problem anymore. Uh, so, and um, yeah, I, I, I see that there are a lot of questions about is the scholarship available for Pakistan, for Kenya, for Nigeria? Yes, the scholarship is again uh, accessible to any country. Okay, so um, thank you very much to everybody for attending. Uh, for seeing us today. Uh, all students who are registered on the webinar, we will send a link to the video and uh, to the presentation. You can uh, watch it again.
Okay, we hope that you got a general exp uh, impression about our university. Uh, thank you very much again for attending. Thank you very much for our students who have uh, attended also the today's meeting. Uh, so we would like also to say that you should not uh, switch off everything because we will um, write you in the chat the answers of the question uh, and uh, in the uh, questions topic so please do not leave uh, the zoom uh, there will be the possibility to ask questions and we will uh, answer to them okay have a great day thank you very much again and hope we see you here uh, at the polytechnic university next year